I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank oh, you so that much, looks good. Grace. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Ah, uh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Look at that clean, goddammit. Man, I would devour that. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Can I? What am I? Mm. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. I'm. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Can I not get up? I'm finished. I have eaten the food. I can literally not leave the table. I would like to leave. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Now, can I... Oh, okay, you're doing stuff. All right. Seeing you again... Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Yes. It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Feed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Luckily, everyone keeps their laptops conveniently open. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Sun visor. Joyce might as well have wrote, Let's get married. 
It might be a useful password. Yes, I think that's it. Um, this one. There we go. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? She was 18, 235, picked up for possession of concernal substances. David Matson. Okay. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Wow, this dude's this fucking weird. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Okay. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Alrighty then. Yes, ignore me. Hello. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Hello. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Um... Yep, he's a dick. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Ooh, you're in the doghouse now, buddy. I won't see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yeah, well, fuck you too. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? You're cool and nice and make some seriously awesome bacon. I'll talk to you later. Let's go. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. All right, see ya.
Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Let's just pimp right in there and knock him out and take his keys. Hello, Mr. Fisherman. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? <laughs> oh, you... I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. Sit around, kid. There's a hobo living around this corner. Hello. There's a... Whoa. That's a lot of ants. So ominous. That's a lot of pixels. <laughs> Alright. Hello, hobo person. Hi. How are you? I remember you. Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mm. Awful thing. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. Now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody. And everything. Huh. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespasses. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Uh... You know what? I'm going to trust you. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just going to say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. I hope you can find shelter from the giant tornado. Is that a dead thing? That's another dead bird. Why are there dead birds everywhere? I don't like that. This is some really interesting graffiti. What is that noise of a fly? I don't know why I'm talking. I'm just going to go inside and get some more bacon. Bacon will cure everything. 
Everything will be okay with bacon. Good lord, bacon. Yes. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I totally have to go to the bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna check what else is going on here. Hello, Mr. Never Cop. mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Well. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Why doesn't it give me a slap option? Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Okay. All right, yeah. Okay. Hey, you eating some bacon? Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Uh. Uh. Spill it. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so that wasn't a good idea. All right, then. Hello. How you doing? You have serious balls, little girl. Thank but you. Hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <coughs> wow, in other that's... words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. I don't want to spill your beans. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. Okay. I might just go get, tell this cop that you're a drug dealer. Hey, Mr. Cop, that guy's a drug dealer. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Next? What the fuck? Oh. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. I... We'll chat later, Max. Ah, fuck you. How you doing, Maxine? Thanks, Officer Bick. I'm glad. Um, yeah. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. 
Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Hmm. Um. I. I don't want to talk to him. All right, fuck it. We'll try you what again. What the fuck now? David Madsen is looking for that gun. He might show up on your RV step. Ooh, I'm trembling. I don't need to take his little museum piece. Okay, I'm gonna leave again. All right then. Um, I kind of want to spill your beans again, but I know that that doesn't work. Can what I talk can I do to you for again? you, Max? Uh, this one. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. Such a waste. You're awful. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Okay, I can't do anything else with you. All right, I need to talk to this douchebag. Hey, douchebag. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. No problem. Lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Uh, let's try this one. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. Right? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Alright, well, I don't want to fucking actually make that promise to you, so you can go fuck yourself. Alright, fuck you. Have a horrible day, asshole. Hey, cop. Hello. What the fuck? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. <laughs> Why is everyone so hard to talk to in this world? Fuck you your eat beans. You like a pig. I just wanted to do that. Can I, like, move something slightly so that he hits his head off it and then gets knocked unconscious? Because that would be great. Hey, cop. So, I'm back. Um. 
Yeah, this one. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. And I'm gonna rewind again. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, buddy. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. I... What the fuck? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just the natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I... Yep. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Okay, so that didn't work directly. Key brought. Um, now back to Chloe. Oh. Oh, I have the keys now? Uh, Alright, peace. Motherfucker. I completely forgot that I think keep things in my possession. 